Welcome to Railway Empire 2 Fundamentals. All right. Hi, this is Atticon, and welcome to the first episode of our new series where we're going to cover Railway Empire 2 Fundamentals. And I think one of the big changes from Railway Empire, if you're new to the game, you'll benefit from this. If you're a veteran of Railway Empire, I think you'll benefit from this possibly even more because we're going to talk about the basic fundamentals of warehouses in Railway Empire 2. So uh, let me get things set up and, and we'll get started. First of all, let's look at our flow of goods. I want to have, use an example. We want to use an example of something that our cities are not getting at all over land, and that would be lumber. There's a, lum there's a lumber logging camp right down here, and you can see that our Toledo, our favorite cities, Toledo and Grand Rapids, are getting zero lumber, and they both want lumber. So this is too far away to get to them over land. If we looked at grain, just as a quick example, you can see that uh, Grand Rapids is getting grain over land, and actually Tito, Toledo is too from a, a grain that's right over here. If we look at corn, then they're not so lucky, right? Okay, so back to our, our uh, logging example. All right, so we've got, we've got logs here, and I'm gonna set, set up a simple little thing to demonstrate how warehouses work in Railway Empire 2. Okay, so I've set up a simple little uh, deal here where we've got an automatic line running between Toledo and Grand Rapids, meaning they'll pick up any uh, goods that are available, top off with passengers and mail, and go to the next city and then do the same thing on the return. And, and we've got a line here hauling logs, direct, or lumber, they call it now lumber directly into Grand Rapids, and if we let that run, we'll see. We'll see uh, out here. If we look at this line, if we look at the trains on this line. We'll see lumber being loaded up and taken into Grand Rapids. Now, Grand Rapids will get lumber supplied to it, but of course, nothing will go to Toledo. But what if we wanted to take it to Toledo? In the original game, we would have to run another line to go to Toledo. Well, now what we can do is we can go in here to Grand Rapids. And by the way, in both of these stations, I put a uh, maintenance depot just so we wouldn't run into any problems down the road. You can have in any station, city station, two cons extensions, they're called. You can see them here, dispatch hall. One of them was the maintenance station before I used that. Dispatch hall, restaurant, market hall, post office. They all have different things. That's outside the scope of what we're going to do today. We're talking about warehouse. Warehouse, first of all, is now an item that you research. So we're going to research warehouse and have that available. And uh, we'll just do something else. Okay. So we've got, well, we have unlimited research, I guess. <laughs> we're in sandbox. Okay, so now we have researched the warehouse. And we go here, add an extension, and there it is, the warehouse. We are going to add an, a warehouse to Grand Rapids. So rather than having a warehouse sticking out here attaching Grand Rapids, it's now part of the station. And what we're gonna do with that warehouse is we're going to tell that warehouse to accept lumber, okay? Notice there's no amount, you just say take it. And notice that plus three, what's happened is as soon as we turn that on, a train back there at the lumber, uh, at the logging camp said, hey, I've got a different deal now. I need some more lumber. So what it's doing now, we can, we can uh, again, we'll go back here and look at, the, look at the warehouse. That plus three means that there's actually uh, logs coming here that are intended for the warehouse itself not for the internal storage of, of Grand Rapids. See, Grand Rapids has logs in it, but there were three intended for that warehouse. If we look at our warehouse now, it's actually plus eight, there's more coming. And I think if we look at that guy, see that right there? We now have logs heading to Toledo. So by having a warehouse here, 
what happens is you get this daisy chain effect where the warehouse says, uh, hey, we've got trains that can haul freight to Toledo. Toledo needs logs. Our warehouse could supply those. This guy reads it and says, hey, I can take logs to that warehouse. And, the warehouse, and then trains can carry them on to Toledo. So instead of having to build another line, I now am providing logs for both Toledo and Grand Rapids just by having that warehouse. Now, what if we did this? What if we had another city? What if we had, um, where's a city? <laughs> I need a city. Oh, they're all around me. <laughs> Sorry, I was in, uh, let's go to Cleveland. Okay, we'll go to Cleveland. First of all, let's make sure Cleveland isn't getting any uh, logs. No, it, it doesn't have any, so that's a good example. All right, so I'll be right back after I set up a line to Cleveland. Okay, so now I've set up a line that's running between Toledo and Cleveland that is, is uh, automatic, so it is capable of handling freight and or, and or passengers or mail. So we've got um, we've got logs coming down here to Toledo. There we can see them. We're getting actually a very good supply coming from out here. So now what happens? Well, what if we said, okay, well, we want to give logs to Toledo as well. We'll go into this station right here and we will construct a warehouse in Toledo. And we will tell that warehouse to accept lumber. We go back here, we've got plenty. This guy is loading up, he's taking off. So let's see what these, these are saying. This is saying, okay, sorry, the warehouse. The warehouse is saying plus 14. Now, anything down here, this warehouse is saying zero. Now, why is that? Because we probably have not filled up the storage capacity of Toledo. It'll, it'll get filled up first, or get all it needs. So we got to give Grand Rapids all it needs, give Toledo all it needs. And notice that production, 28 out of 30. Let's go add a couple more trains to this line. Now we've got a train coming back. We're running lots of lumber. We've got a plus four here in Grand Rapids. And we've got a plus 11 in Toledo. What's that mean? Well, 11 lumber is actually heading to our warehouse in Toledo. And guess where they're gonna go? They're gonna go right out here to Cleveland. So Cleveland will end up with a supply of lumber. So I'll, I'll be back in a minute when we start seeing that. In fact, we can see it already. There's a thing here called current delivery by train. Look at this, 13 are on their way here. Current delivery by train, 13 logs are heading to Cleveland. And of course we get a breakdown and slow everything down. But I think maybe even this train right here has logs on it. It does. Look at that. So now, now look at this. We have actually chained from here. We've got a chain going so that we're actually, in effect, we're hauling logs from here to here and to here and to here. And all that is because we're able to chain this together. And we've got a warehouse here and a warehouse here. Now, the interesting thing is, to get one to get it out here to the endpoint, we don't need a warehouse because that's where we end. If we wanted to keep going with this and go out here to this is probably Pittsburgh, isn't it? Yeah. If we wanted to keep going to Pittsburgh, 
well, we would do the same thing. And, and eventually you would run out of room. Uh, you'd run out of supplies where you couldn't keep them all happy. But you can see how you can chain them together, keep a nice clean uh, flow. And you've got these um, trains that are running back and forth anyway between the two cities. And now uh, the logs will be part of what they pick up. Okay, let's move on to another concept about warehouses. Okay, now I've got grain added to, to our system here, again going into Grand Rapids, because that's where it's, it's closest, that's the nearest uh, city to it. Uh, so it just makes sense. So let's set up a line that goes from here to here, running full, carrying grain, and by the way, all this line set up and laying track, we'll cover that in different, in different videos. But now we've got this going. Now it's working, but we don't have it, the warehouse set because uh, Grand Rapids needs it. But if we want to continue that on down to Toledo, all we have to do is say here, all we have to do is say, okay, you take grain as well. And I'm going to run several trains on this because uh, the requirements are going to be quite by the way, just as a quick aside, uh, our Railway Empire 2 does not need the 850,000 trains that Railway Empire did to keep a city happy. Much less train spamming in this game. We look at our warehouse. Look at this. Now we're already starting to send some of that grain on down the line to Toledo. And if we wanted to send it past Toledo to Cleveland, all we'd have to do is turn on the warehouse, turn on grain here and it would go to Cleveland or we could decide how far we wanted to go if we wanted to stop right here then we don't we don't turn it on for Toledo as a destination okay so there's another concept now let's let's uh, look at something else about the warehouses all right so here's here's where we've got a warehouse in this at a rural station you don't have to have the warehouse doesn't have to be in the city it could be out here on a rural station. In fact, we've got a warehouse set up here at our grain, and it is accepting the corn and the uh, sugar. So the corn and sugar lines feed the warehouse. The warehouse feeds uh, the city warehouse. The city and the warehouse. So that warehouse here feeds the city down here. And if we had a warehouse here, it could feed the city on down the line. So here's yet another way to do it. This station here is actually in the middle of nowhere. I plopped it down. It's not connected to a farm. It's not connected to a city or a mine or anything. It's just out in the middle of nowhere. You can now do that. We plopped it down and we turned it into a warehouse. And we've got it set to pick up grain and corn and sugar. And sure enough, this guy now is set to run here, and he's taking corn, grain, and sugar because we've got the corn and sugar coming in here to the grain. And notice in this warehouse, this is worth kind of a quick note, the wa this warehouse does not have grain enabled because it's, the grain is here, right? You just need, you just need to enable the, the extra ones. So now we've got the corn and sugar coming down here, and trains can load up here Let's see what this little train right here has got. I'm clicking. I'm not sure why. There. So he's got a mixed load of uh, corn and grain. It could be corn, grain, sugar, whatever. And down here, our trains are set up to haul whatever they can get. And this train here will... Uh, this stuff's going to the warehouse. This train will pick it up. We've actually got two trains loading, so it may or may not get a full load. And uh, then they, those trains, are taking it down here to this warehouse, and it goes right down the line just as before. So you can use um, a warehouse in the middle of nowhere as, uh, well, as a station in the middle of nowhere as a warehouse and gather up stuff. And by the way, you know, the, this, obviously the, the uh, corn could be coming straight to this. It wouldn't have to be going here. This could be going straight there. We could put apples, or fruit rather, put, run the fruit in here, whatever we want to do. And this also, by the way, could double as a maintenance station. You can set up a station, just as an aside, a kind of a bonus. You can set up a station out, out here, like you could put a station here and in between these two, 
and have these trains hit it as it as they're running, and that can be your maintenance and keep your maintenance away from your cities if you had a high congestion area or something like that. So hopefully from, from that little intro, you can see just how powerful warehouses are, and I'm, hopefully your mind's churning with all kinds of ideas of clever ways to use the warehouses to grow your cities and to move goods efficiently and with nice, clean, neat-looking lines like this. Uh, so uh, enjoy using warehouses as you play Railway Empire 2. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it will help you become a better player. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe and join us for our next video.